Okay guys, I got another lithium iron phosphate budget battery that I'm gonna be testing today. I did a quick test yesterday. It was an 80 watt draw, basically this TV here. And it did pull the full rated wattage, uh, 1280 watts out of the battery. So what I did was I went ahead and charged it up and it is full. And uh, you know, this battery, probably has the pouch cells in it. I'm not gonna take it apart, but this is the manual for the battery. I believe it's a 50 amp BMS, so it's not a 100 amp BMS on there. So I'm a little upset about that, but couldn't beat the price. So anyway, um, you know, the specs of, of Note here, I mean, this is all just typical stuff. They have on the Amazon website, they actually say it's different than what the manual is you know, as far as the cycles. But this is a screen power, 100 amp hour, 12 volt battery. But of note here, the uh, charge voltage, um, you know, 14.6 plus or minus 0.2. I charged it using 14.4 and got there just fine. And then it's got this weird um, algorithm here to, ch you know, the charge mode. But the, down here, you can look at the uh, charger current. So they recommend 0.1C, 0.2C, but the max charge current is 0.5. I did charge this um, the first time with uh, point. Well, I charged it with the 30 amps, and um, the second time I went ahead and charged it at 50 amps. So this is 5C, 0.5C. Um, obviously, the the lower amperage you charge it, supposedly the longer the battery will last. So uh, you yeah, know that's really all that's in the manual here. It's kind of just a really basic manual. But what we're going to do now is we're going to, if there's a 50 amp BMS in here, we're going to try to load it up with um, 50 amps as close as we can. So what I did was um, hook my little watt meter up. You've seen this in the videos. Uh, but right now you can see the battery sitting at 13.46. It's drawing 1.4 watts from the inverter. Uh, just as reference, the ver inverter is a pro sign. I'll do a separate video on this inverter, but I have two of these. This is an inverter charger, and even though the charging specs are for lead or gel, this actually charger does a, a really good job of charging um, LifePo batteries as well, and charges them fast. And you can change the... Uh, amperage settings, the charge amperage setting inside this inverter, but I'll save that for another day. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and turn the um, inverter on, and then what I have over here is two little um, space heaters. I believe they're 300 watts each, so what I'm going to probably do is turn them on one at a time, see how close we can get to 600 watts, and this should take about two hours for this particular test. So I'm not sure, you know, um, if it's going to work, how long it's going to uh, draw down at, at this high of a discharge. Like I said, the other test was 80 watts and it took, I don't know, every bit of 12, 13 hours, give or take. But it did pull the full rated wattage out of this battery. So we'll go ahead and get this test started and we'll see um, what we can do. Okay, so I got this little one here on. You can see the um, inverter is on and it's saying it's using 26 amps. Over here, you can see it's reading 30 amps, about 360 watts. So we'll go ahead and turn this other one on, and, uh, okay. It's shut off because I think I just blew the fuse there. I'm trying to remember what I had the fuse rated at in this thing, but, uh, the thing shut off. I'm guessing, uh, we blew the fuse, so you can see the inverter's off. So we'll change the fuse out, and maybe we'll just limit it to 300 watts because of this particular, uh, even though this thing is rated at 150 amps, uh, the wiring would never support that. But regardless, I think the fuse blew. 
Okay, so you can see right there. You might not be able to see there, but let me see if I can put that against the white background. Let me do it this way. So you can see the fuse blue, just as I suspected. It actually is a 30 amp fuse. I don't know if you can see that in the video. But uh, so that means we should only be really running 30 amps. And it also proved another thing that, you know, fuses uh, do work. So it uh, over over um, overdrew the amount of amps. All right, here we are, 1026. Almost an hour into it. Let's just look at the ProSign console. We'll come over here. You can see, still pulling 350 watts. We have about an hour on the meter. We're at 3184 amp hours, 390 watt hours. Uh, voltage is at 1214. Over here it says 11.7, obviously, because we're going through these thin wires here. So, um, so far so good. Come back another hour. Okay, 11.38. And over here. So we got 811 watt hours. kind of see how that resets so it's one amp hour so it's 65 plus one so it's 66 amp hours 800 and some watt hours 12.07 and over here where it says 11.6 i think we might run into an issue here i'm not 100 percent sure but because of the loss the voltage loss from here to here i can't remember what this um inverter is going to shut off at or it'll at least start warning, I think, when it gets to around 11 volts. So it might start beeping at a certain point. But the test should not be much longer anyway, because we're at a late, there's probably only another hour left at best. Okay, here we are, 12.30. So we're still running for now. Uh, what's that say? It's like 11.3 there. 11, seven there, so we're holding strong. Looks like we're at, let's look here. Okay, 26 amp hours plus 65, we're at 1100. Watt hours, so, so we'll probably get about another 100 watt hours, which would be, um, I'm guessing somewhere around 20 minutes left, tops. We'll come back in a little bit. Again, this is the screen power. Life Po 4, 100 amp hour battery, 12 volts. Okay, here we go. We're at 12, 15 watt hours. 11, 10 on the volts, and then over here we are at 10, 5. So this is going to shut down real soon to low voltage. But it's quite possible that this is going to shut down first. So we'll look at the time. It's been running three hours and 30 minutes. There's 35 amp hours plus 65. So you're at 100 amp hours right there. And you can see 12, almost 1220 watt hours. So I believe this is rated at 1280. Um, but it is also. 100 amp hour, which we just hit, 35 plus 65 is 100. So you can kind of see, this is gonna drop off super fast now, the voltage. And you're gonna see down here, this is gonna shut off. There it goes, right there. So the battery voltage is too low. This is dropping, and this is gonna shut off any second because the inverter is gonna shut off. We're just gonna let it beep. I think it'll shut off. It won't show it, but I believe it's going to shut off at 10 over here, which it was at 10.5. So we're just going to let it go here for a few minutes. Well, as long as it's going to go. So it's at 36 amp hours.
Let me just see if I can clear this fault. So you can see at 10.3, I believe at 10.0, the inverter shuts off. And that's gonna stop the test when the inverter shuts off. So um, that is adjustable, by the way, for this particular inverter. So, but the real purpose there is to protect the, the battery from draining down too much. I believe also, if I'm not mistaken, with this, the BMS in here, I think will shut off, I can't remember, at 10? It might be nine something. I'm not exactly sure. I can't find any documentation on it. But you can see we're at, uh, what, uh, 1230? And it may not make it to 1280, but that's probably only gonna be because this is gonna shut off. Um, when it hits 10.0. Just going to let it run here for another minute. Can't imagine it going much longer. What are we at now? 10.1? Can't read that. 10.1. So... Well, we'll see what happens here, but I'm pretty sure at 10, this is gonna shut off. So we basically got 102 amp hours out of this. I think we're sitting at 10.0. Once it drops below that, it should shut off. Should. Oh, there's 9.9. .9. I'd have to see what it's programmed for. Oh, there it was. Okay. So there's your remaining numbers. Now the voltage obviously is gonna go back up because there's no load on it, but small load, that's just the inverter. But you'll see where we finished and 1240 watts. There was a little bit left in the battery, but the inverter shut down. Not bad at all for this battery.